Hey, I'm Jay Shetty, and this is The Late Show Shetty Answers to Petty Problems. I've got some real petty problems from real Late Show viewers, and I'm gonna weigh in my thoughts. Let's get started. This is from Facebook, Holly G. Pen and pin are not pronounced the same. My husband and I have been arguing about this for 20 years. I think it's time to have uh, new arguments. There's loads of better things to argue, argue about. TV shows, uh, favorite places to eat, types of vacations. Change what you argue about, I promise you. It'll be so, so wonderful. I get weary of doing all the cooking and kitchen cleanup. That's not fair. That doesn't sound fair on you at all. I would definitely sit down, split up those chores, figure out who's doing what, schedule it out. It's not fair that you do, unless you're alone and you're doing these all alone by yourself. But um, I'm hoping that you can Figure this one out. This one feels like you can solve it. Okay, so this is from Twitter. Jane K. Taylor says, my good friend stopped talking to me for a long time and did not tell me what was wrong. She finally told me I'd borrowed a book and did not return it. Now, that's an easy one to call out as petty, but you have no idea what that book could have meant to her. And this speaks to a wider thing of we don't know what people value and why they value them. Next time in a relationship, make sure that you're really clear on what's important to you and what's not important to you. Dirty dishes on the counter or table. When reminding partner how the dishwasher works, I get told I'm overreacting and dishes are then not moved to the sink, still not the dishwasher. All right, that's, that's again a tough one. It's not fair to ever be told you're overreacting, especially when it comes to a daily chore or something that's happening every single day, causing a mess in the house. Again, I really hope that you can sit down outside of when you're having an argument instead of when you're in the stress of that moment bring it up at a separate time and say, hey, you know what? I just wanna share with you how we can better figure out who does the dishes, how we do the dishes, how we figure it all out. Because when you're having that conversation in the stress of it, you end up saying a lot of things you don't mean and they may be doing the same thing. All right, Instagram, Livina Vida Leisha, cool name. Uh, my boyfriend never separates his dirty laundry. So to prove a point, I washed all of his whites with red to turn them pink. You're a legend, that's amazing. Uh, was that petty or productive? I think it was petty, but I loved it. But no, it was petty, it was petty. You gotta find another way to communicate. I think sometimes we take these passive aggressive methods to get our point across. And the problem is they just create more tension in a relationship. So next time communicating more effectively and choosing to be more productive, less petty, would be a great idea. Well, I hope I solved some of your petty squabbles. I think I exacerbated and amplified some of them as well. I apologize in advance. If you'd like to read my book, head on over to eightrulesoflove.com. I'm Jay Shetty, and this has been Shetty Answers to Petty Problems.